Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today in this short video lecture, I will guide you practically proper design of steel reinforcement and top beam. That's why because I visit many projects, construction sites, especially commercial building, they don't work with steel structure design. They are just working by contractor. So therefore, they don't know what is steel structure design, what is proper design. Uh, of beam column slab so therefore they are making a lot of mistakes so therefore today i will give you some important tips practically how to do steel reinforcement design for rcc top beam for four story commercial building okay so if you see uh, in normal commercial building they are using for top beam six steel rods because they don't work with steel structure design six steel rods uh, dia normally 12 millimeter which uh, if you see it's stirrups dia which is six millimeter they don't provide hooks so therefore uh, they have a lot of uh, they provide uh, they make a lot of mistakes so therefore be careful especially for mega projects because uh, uh, in mega projects if you don't work with proper uh, steel reinforcement design so you will face a lot of problems in the future so let's get start how to do the proper steel reinforcement design for top beam let's get start guys you can see this is RCC top beam for four story commercial building. You can see guys, uh, this is top beam and they used here uh, three steel rods at the bottom and three at the top and two steel rods at the sides. So total we have here eight steel rods which dia is 20 millimeter. Guys, you can see clearly six number steel dia is 20 millimeter and here uh, at the bottom three steel rods at the top also three steel rods which dia is 20 millimeter for eight steel rods depth of this uh, beam is uh, with concrete cover uh, which is 18 inches okay and uh, which width is uh, 12 inches or 300 millimeter so here guys you can see clearly uh, stirrups which dia is 8 millimeter with the spacing of 6 inches or 150 millimeter which is the proper design okay uh, also guys you can see its hooks okay which is bent with 135 degree clearly guys you can see but uh, what is the proper design so actually uh, concrete is weak and tension but it's strong in compression so therefore at the bottom they should provide four steel rods compared to this design they used three steel rods at the top three steel rods at the top and three at the bottom so they should provide four at the bottom and three at the top okay so this is the proper design also guys you can see the spacing is about six inches but when you come to its mid so at the mid uh, you should provide the maximum space compared to uh, at the end of the support where we have maximum shear stresses also bent up bar is uh, also important for the beam or the crank bar you can say which uh, uh, angle should be 45 to 60 degree between 45 to 60 degree as you can see clearly so here uh, they didn't provide the development length also in the beam okay but also the spacing of the stirrup is same at the mid also at the end of the support because at the end of the support the spacing should be closely and also at the joint at the joint or at the junction uh, between uh, column and beam they should provide extra bars or with l by 4 distance they should provide crank bar or extra bar okay so it is very important but they didn't provide uh, in this uh, commercial building which is four story building okay so the steel reinforcement is okay but they didn't use the proper method for this so guys this is a short video in which i have uh, discussed uh, how to design uh, beam top beam at steel reinforcement so uh, let me discuss in detail now for four story commercial building uh, first of all you need a full structure design okay with steel structure design you should work if you don't have the steel structure design so uh, normally for three-story commercial building i recommend you used uh, minimum eight steel rods four at the bottom two at the top so it becomes six steel rods two at the sides and the dia should not be less than the dia should not be less than 16 millimeter but i recommend you use uh, 
20 millimeter. Now come to eight stirrups. So the stirrup dial should not be less than eight millimeter with the spacing of 150 millimeter at the end at the end of the support which is L by 4 distance as I discussed in many videos when you come to its mid because uh, it mid we don't have maximum shear, uh, shear stretches so you can keep the distance uh, from uh, 150 to uh, 200 millimeter okay no problem if the spacing is maximum compared to its uh, uh, its uh, at the end of the supports so this is also very important and the stirrup uh, hooks Hooks should be bent with 135 degree and the length of the stirrup should not be less than 3 inches and uh, with L by 4 distance crank off bar is very important crank off bar or you can say bent up bar if uh, but bent up bar or crank bar is economical but uh, if you don't provide or if you didn't provide in the construction and you need to provide so there you can provide the extra bar so the extra bar should not be less than 1 meter okay so guys these are steel reinforcement detail proper steel reinforcement detail for four story or three story commercial building hope this video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye